Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. This beer I haven't had in a long, long, long time. Right about Christmas of 2008. Um, I'm wearing my Green Lantern t-shirt. Last time I was wearing my Green Lantern sweatshirt, which I don't have anymore. This is Rollin' Rock Extra Pale. Now, what's interesting on the can there, it says Latreau Brewing, St. Louis, Missouri. We all know what breweries in St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, used to, Rolling Rock used to be independent, and it used to be owned by Latreau Brewing out of New Jersey, but Anheuser-Busch bought the rights, and now it's made by Budweiser in St. Louis. Contains no additives or preservatives. And, you know, you got a 25-ounce can there. Uh, I think it's 4.5 ABV. It doesn't say on here. That's what Ray Pierce says. So, we got the boot. Man, that had fizzled away fast. It came up to, you know, like the seam, like where all the other ones have come up to. That fizzled fast, although they did get the extra pale right. I mean, it's definitely, it's as pale as like Bud Light. It's definitely very, very pale for a lager. Mmm. I mean, it smells very generic. Um, Rolling Rock, to me, has always been one of the really low end of the, you know, cheap economy beers. I don't know if you consider this economy beer, like, on the scale of, like, you know, Bush or uh, Natural Light or something like that, but it's definitely on the lower end there. So, yeah, I mean, it just smells like corn. It's pretty much all it smells like, so. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I know the angry video game nerd can stand to drink this or pretend to drink this in all his episodes. Yeah, this is um, yeah, it's definitely on that lower rung there, <clears throat> lower lo lower rung of the ladder. Although it is four point five ABV, and like, I think there's even a rolling lot. Ro that's hard to say. Rolling r rock light. Um, I think it's called like a green light or something like that. You know, very, very corn tasting, very kind of astringent, has that constant tang front front to back, a little sharp. Actually, you know what, there is a little bit of sweetness in here. I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, it's not like, like, Miller Lite has, like, a very, very subtle actual malt character to it. I, this doesn't. It just kind of tastes like, they probably just threw some, like, dextrose or, you know, some other type of sugar. They probably just threw it into the the fermenting tanks. Or maybe they even brewed it with sugar. Um, well, I mean, it wouldn't be lactose sugar, but, yeah, there's a little bit of sweetness in here. I'm surprised. Finish is very watery, very bland. Uh, I think with this beer is actually, it is it is more bland than it is offensive. Although I am drinking it out of the can, and you know Rolling Rock comes in green bottles, so it's like the American Heineken. It's always skunky and sour if you drink it out of the bottle. Um, drinkability is pretty good. It's, I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty tepid. But still getting the CO2 stuck in the throat. <clears> throat> it's you know pretty thin mouthfeel has like a watery texture to it. It's, you know it's a little crisp. Um, it's I would not call it refreshing. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's actually well yeah there's lacing. That's not what I was going to point out, but there's like a clear fluid. It's almost like the beer has legs. I don't know what that is. It's probably like corn syrup or something. Yeah, I've heard that a lot of the macro breweries will literally throw corn syrup in the brew to sweeten it up. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I didn't like the first taste, but now that I'm drinking it more, 
it's starting to grow on me a little. I mean, it's still not a very good beer at all, but um, it's not god awful. I don't really much else to say about it, so let's rate it on right beer. Aroma, uh, yeah, like I said, nothing, just generic corn, whatever. Um, three. If it's under green bottle, it's closer to like a one. Appearance, uh, I give that a three too. I mean, it's like the you know, it's like a white gold color, you know, but it had virtually no head and the head didn't stick, so give it a three. Taste, um. You know, very bland. You know, has like, has like the corn syrup or whatever that generic sweetness is. No real genuine malt character to it. Um, it's clean. It's inoffensive, but there's really nothing to like about it here. I think if, even if I give it a four, I think that would be a little generous. But it does taste better than it smells. I give it a four out of ten on taste palate. Um, yeah, it's. Clean, easy drinking beer. It's not really refreshing. Um, I don't think you'd really consider it sessionable. I give it a. Mm, I give it a. I give it go a three or four on palate. I give it a. Uh, again, I'll be a generous. Give it a four to five on palate. Overall, not very impressive. I'll give it a. Ten. All right, that's a two point four. I think that's a two, or is that a high one? No, nope, it's a two. Straight middle middle of the road two. I guess I'd agree with that. I should agree with it since my own rating, so Yeah, two out of ten for Roland Rock. Sorry, angry video game nerd. The spear's really just not that good. <laughs> Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.